Welcome to STEM Club. Each week we've got a simple science experiment for you to try out at home. We're going to explain some of the science behind it, then challenge you to investigate more. And as you can see, I've got an excess of balloons left over from a previous STEM Club where I couldn't quite get all of my balloons to pop. It has been amazing to see everybody else having the same struggles, but also finding out how to pop their balloons using modelling balloons and using different oranges and different fruits to see which one pops. All you need this week is a balloon and a bamboo skewer. In this week's experiment, we're going to do some magic, awesome science. And what we're going to do is get our bamboo skewer and you want where the tied end of the rubber is, you want to carefully push your skewer through the rubber. In it goes. And then at the other end, you want to push your balloon and then find the other end where there's also a bit of rubber and push your bamboo skewer out the other side very carefully. And magic, if you can see there, I have skewered my balloon. This is a really simple science experiment for you to do at home. So the reason the balloon doesn't pop when you put your bamboo skewer in, I'm going to explain using these bits of string. So this is lots and lots of bits of string. You could do this at home as well. I've just cut up lots of bits of string. And those are like the polymer molecules that make up the rubber in our balloon, because the balloon is made of rubber, which is lots and lots of poly polymer molecules. As you blow up the balloon, these molecules stretch apart from one another. So as I blow up the balloon, that's just like me blowing up the balloon, you can see they're all starting to stretch apart. And there actually isn't much space. So if I were to get my finger as a bamboo skewer and put it in there, it would probably, there we go, pop the balloon. Pop. However, if we put our bamboo skewer in at the ends, so this is me making my balloon small again, so where the rubber is closer together and the polymers haven't been stretched as far apart as the others, if I put my bamboo skewer in here, not much happens, so it all still stays together, but I have made a hole in my balloon. So if I were to take the skewer out, the air would come out and the balloon would deflate. Let's see if that happens. Oh yeah, you can see, I can feel the air coming out. So it's gonna be slow and you can see the hole here where the skewer has gone in. But if I wanted to do it like my experiment, so if I got my string and stretched all those polymers really far apart and then put my skewer in, we'll be able to watch it pop. Let's investigate this further. A plastic bag is also made of a polymer, but this time I'm not going to fill it up with air, I'm going to fill it up with water. So I'm going to fill up my plastic bag with water and you again could do this at home so you could try out different polymers, you could try out different balloons, you could try out plastic bags. And what I'm going to do is exactly the same but before I do that I'm just going to put something underneath my, underneath my bag because as we saw with the balloon some air does come out so I'm just going to push my skewer through one side and push it through the other and again exactly the same has happened. Polymers can slide apart to allow my bamboo skewer through and they don't let any water in. So you could try changing the polymer using and try it on different things this experiment. You could also try and see how big you could make the hole. So rather than using a bamboo skewer, you could use a pencil. So I could try putting my pencil in it and seeing if that still works too. You could also try varying how much you blow up your balloon by or where you put the skewer into your balloon. And changing something makes it into a scientific investigation. So if you change something and then measure whether or whether or not the balloon pops, that's you doing a science investigation. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's STEM Club. Don't forget to share what you've been up to in our Home Learning Hub STEM Club, which you can get to directly on the link below. It is brilliant to see what everybody's been up to and their different investigations. And we look forward to seeing you next week for more STEM fun.